Jane, and today I want to show you a simple demonstration that I like to use when we start our investigation of momentum. Now, it begins with a basketball and a tennis ball, but we're going to try it with some other materials also. So let's go get started. Come on. Now, this demonstration is going to start with the idea that if I drop the basketball and tennis ball, they will both fall and accelerate towards the ground at 9.8 meters per second squared. And if I drop them, well, we see that they both fall and reach the ground at the same time. Now, instead of dropping them side by side, what about if I put the tennis ball on top of the basketball and release it? Well, let's see what happens. Now, how about if we just drop the tennis ball on top of the basketball and see what happens? Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> so, what is going on here? Well, let's track the height of the basketball when it bounces by itself versus when the ball's on top of it. Okay, so we'll drop it at your head height. It's coming up to about there. Let's try that again. Right there. All right, good. It's coming up to about there. Now let's try this with the ball on top. The difference in the bounces is said to be the momentum transferring from the basketball into the tennis ball. And ideally, this is said to be able to go about nine times higher than what this does. When we set about testing it, our results weren't nearly that good. The best we could come up with is about six times higher than the height of the basketball. The tennis ball has less mass than the basketball. The transferred momentum will propel it to a higher velocity. The higher velocity takes it to a higher height. Now we can find this idea of transfer of momentum through collisions in all sorts of examples. Many of our sports are dependent on the idea of collisions and transfer of momentum. Just flowing to the football and Marche Green actually looked like he was playing the ball. Not <clears throat> So this is a fun little experiment that anybody can try for themselves. Basketball and a tennis ball, what we're getting is a transfer of momentum from this into this and shooting it skyward. But is this going to give us the best results? We decided to try it with a number of other materials, something that you could try for yourself. We have some objects here that bounce really well and some not so good. Which object do you think will go the highest? Oh, oh yeah! Oh, oh, oh. Can I get another one? No, 
no, we should it and then it's gonna explode on me. Oh no, no! Oh! Some of the objects like eggs are best tried outside for obvious reasons. Oh, God. <laughs> it's gonna go right there. Well, this was such a fun and easy experiment. I hope it's one that you'll try for yourself. And if you do, I'd love to hear in the comments section about what you found gave you the best results and what gave you the worst results. At this point, I'd like to thank you for stopping in and hey, come back and see me again. Okay, bye.